Um, scene 121.2014. Hey y'all, artist poet girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today I'm going to be making, hey y'all, magic fingers. I'm going to be making a couple t-shirts. Well, I already made one, so that would be three t-shirts. Three is my favorite number. Y'all know that. Anyway, I'm going to be making a couple t-shirts for the founder and the co instigator of the hot mess art game that's us y'all so if you want to be a part just drop me a line uh, i will need a uh, means uh, of contacting you back so make sure i can do that if you want to be in this here hot mess art game y'all so uh, for this project or these projects it's actually one project just a couple couple few differences anyway I'm just using various craft uh, acrylic craft paints and uh, sometimes I'm using some white gesso there y'all just saw me using a roller uh, chevron doohickey thing and I'm using uh, stencils and uh, I've actually list in the description, believe it or not, y'all, I've actually listed uh, the tools that I used pretty much. I did not list each individual uh, craft paint because, yeah, there's a, there's a limit as to what I'm, I'm willing to do for y'all. It's true. There's a limit. So there I am just kind of, uh, I put cardboard uh, inside the t-shirt between the front and the back and that's to keep the, the paint from bleeding through all the way through to the back. And uh, they make t-shirt forms at Michael's. I don't know. I've never really looked for them at Hobby Lobby, but I do know I've seen them at Michael's. I just used a piece of cardboard that I had laying around the studio. And here I'm daubing on some, uh, that's a makeup, makeup sponge, uh, by the way. I'm uh, using that to apply just some white paint through this really cool stencil. Um, yeah, you can see that. So uh, hurry up and go to the next. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. So there now I'm applying uh, different colors and I'm just, well, this happens to be a red, but I will be applying multiple colors uh, over the stencil. I use the white basically to kind of block out some of the orange, the, the background color of that t-shirt. Um, yes, I could have used a white t-shirt because I have a couple of those as well, but uh, no, I wanted to use the orange one. My t-shirt is purple. Um, I know who this t-shirt has gone to already. They've actually already received it by the time I'm doing this voiceover because that's the magic of YouTube, y'all. Um, so anyway, I, I did the eeny, meeny, miny, mo technique to decide who was getting what t-shirt. And uh, yeah, the co-instigator I believe is the winner of the uh, orange t-shirt so well you know there, there's two of us instigators and a founder although I don't think she knows she's the founder <laughs> bless you so anyway um, yeah hence the reason the titles of co-instigators and uh, yeah, so using multiple colors here, there was a pink, and uh, for whatever bizarre reason, I chose to uh, put orange paint on the orange t-shirt. Crapies, y'all. I just don't know. I don't know why I didn't use yellow. Why didn't I use yellow? Oh, well, it really doesn't matter much, does it? So anyway, there's some, uh, it's a light green. Well, you can see that it's a light green. And, uh, yeah, I, on uh, my t-shirt, which I will model for you later on in this video, I used uh, four different stencils. And uh, trust me when I say mine turned out to be a real hot mess. 
yeah. This one was kind of a hot mess too, so you know, you either gotta like it or or not, and you're just gonna have to wear it anyway, cause I said so, co-instigated. Um, there was a turquoise, which looks really good next to the red, but y'all know that. And um, let's see, I don't really have any stories. It's been kind of hard for us to keep this under wraps. Well, for me anyway, to keep this under wraps. I know you've heard us uh, in the chat rooms. Um, yeah, I sprayed it with a... No, that's not been in the chat rooms. Well, y'all, read, read that thing. So, um, anyway, we've talked off and on about uh, the Hot Mess Art Gang in some of the chats of some of the live streams, And um, so it's really not a secret Kind of the secret part is for y'all to become uh, official members of. Yeah, official even. So, uh, yeah, just, and I know I said it at the beginning. I might even say it a couple more times. Uh, drop me a line. Be sure I can contact you back because there is a bit of a process, which you will see also in the description portion of this video. And, uh, yeah, I'm using uh, pastel uh, pencils to, you know, that would be chalk, y'all, to draw some lines to put my words. I'm using the, uh, these are, I don't know, kind of like those, they're, well, they're the hard stencils, you know, letter alpha, alpha stencils. And uh, I'm outlining uh, with the chalk because I don't want it to be permanent but I want it to last long enough for me to be able to pay it. And I was just putting that uh, stencil on a piece of black cardstock so y'all could see that it was alpha. And if y'all should happen to hear any strange noises in the background, I'm in the house. That's studio. In the house. Voice over. Oh, tea time. And there's a, a lowercase. I think they all came in one package, but I don't know. You know, you know how what how it is when you buy stuff on clearance, and um, yeah, y'all know I'm that way. If not, you should know that by now, or you need to be watching some more of my older videos. <sighs> As you notice, I did no measuring. Yes, I have rulers. I seem to be a ruler collector, which is odd for someone who doesn't <laughs> really like to measure. <laughs> so I did no measuring. I'm just uh, going on pure eyeball here. And uh, yeah, I think it came out pretty, pretty well balanced, but uh, yeah. And now I'm just using some uh, black uh, craft acrylic craft paint here to paint my uh, the words and the t-shirt does read the hot mess art gang y'all is not on the end of it although I did almost say that the hot mess art gang y'all but no this that's that's not part of our official title now I didn't paint the line because I, I just didn't want to paint the line. Um, I don't really have any stories. The puppies have been behaving. Molly is now over her surgery and she is doing quite well. Um, the weather has took a turn. Took a turn! It's been raining acorns. And they've been popping and bouncing on the breezeway and dancing with the uh, the leaves, the falling leaves. It's fall, autumn, or in some cases of the United States, because that's where I am in the U.S. Um, it's actually winter and snowing and practically blizzard conditions up in the northern part. I am in the southern part of the United States. I'm in Texas, y'all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh, this is a Patty Tolly Parish stencil. 
I liked it so well I actually did this same stencil on uh, all three of the shirts that I did yeah. yeah on the same shoulder even I don't know y'all maybe it's a badge Patty we're using your stencil I'm using your stencil as as a badge for our hot the hot mess the hot mess art game drop me a line uh, only if you want to be a member. If you don't want to be a member, no worries. Don't drop me a line and don't email Dee Dee because she knows nothing of this until she watches the video. If she watches the video, Dee Dee! Dee Dee! You better watch my video. Alright. Now we got that out of the way. So, um, at a couple points uh, during this, I used the heat gun word of advice use extreme extreme caution y'all if you're going to use a heat gun over your uh your stencils because uh these stencils there's a heat gun paula uh, yeah extreme caution with your heat gun over the stencils because the stencils are plastic y'all and they will warp they'll melt and uh i did not do that with any of these but uh, just, just you know, keep it some distance away. And this is just to basically uh, get that first white kind of dry because <laughs> I do not have patience and I could not walk away from this and then come back after it dried. So I'm just uh, pouncing on some, some more colors. And it, the camera's shaking because the cord's hanging back there in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, y'all. You can't see it. It is off screen. But the t-shirt over there is bumping on it. So it's really not me. It's the co-instigator's t-shirt's fault. I said it. Mm-hmm. 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 So, uh... Musical interlude. Must be time. Must be time. Or musical interlude. Oh, we can make that our game song. Couldn't we? I'll have to clear that with the founder and the co-instigator. Well, really, I could just put it in the paperwork. It doesn't matter. Eh, I don't know. Do we really need a song? Because if we do need a song, that's it. Musical interlude. I claimed it, and so it is. So there we go. I just dobble, dobble, dobble. Basically, some the same colors. Uh, one of the colors I use is a gray, and it's a pretty gray in the bottle. But when I put it on uh, this shirt and well, actually on all three shirts, it came out to be uh, kind of a wonky looking green, which is not bad. Look at there, Patty Tyler Parish. Another one of her stencils. I like her stencils. And no, I, I'm sorry to say I did not uh, get any of her good deal this last time. I'm sorry, Patty. Sometimes the wallet puts a stop to stuff. But I love your stencils. So, um, this, oh, this is the third t-shirt. And the founder, I believe, is the one that ended up with this. Now, I'm just using clear tape to tape it down. And, yeah, the cardboard's already uh, in, in the thing, in the T-shirt. Oh, when I was doing those letters, I don't think I mentioned it. But I'll tell you now. When I was uh, using the uh, pastel pencils to draw the letters through the stencil, I had a little piece of... Uh, Sandpaper between the t-shirt and the cardboard that uh, keep, will keep the fabric from shifting around on you when you're actually drawing on it with a pencil. That is a quilting trick. Or maybe some other people use it too. I don't know. So there, that's the trick for that to keep the t-shirt from going wonky on you. The, uh, 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 uh. Sandpaper the t-shirt still and uh, I, I have a uh, spray booth 
I rigged up outside using an old quilting firm. I can't hand quilt anymore, y'all. Uh, my hands, my wrist, and all that are just too, um, they're just too picky. And it hurts, so unfortunately I can't do it. But I made good use of that, uh, that frame. I set it up and wrapped it up with uh, plastic, and it is a spray booth, and it works great. It keeps uh, <laughs> paint from landing on my outside studio wall. And I know I'm recording this with my phone, and I'm just walking back and forth holding the phone, so you just see what you see. And that was me spritzing, spritzing the T-shirt. And get ready for the model. There I am. Ta-da. That's my shirt. It's purple, don't you know? And this is Colleen's shirt. She's the co-instigator. Co-instigator. And this is for the founder. Journal Artista. So, uh, for the last time in this video, I don't know, I may mention it or may not mention it again. Um, drop me a line. Email. Tweet me at something. And be sure I know how to contact you back because there may be paperwork involved in this, y'all. So, um, yeah. Hey! Thanks for watching. Happy arting, y'all.